Hey guys, Brandon here, and welcome to Pseudoscience, the show where we combat scientific literacy by breaking down the scientific claims made in pop culture, film, and more. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Titanic Dilemma. That's right. You know, the ending of the Titanic, the one that everybody debates? Well, we're going to put that argument to rest once and for all with some good old physics. For years now, the internet has had a field day with this one. After an onslaught of memes, comments from director James Cameron himself, and even a Mythbusters episode, people are still talking about that scene from 1997's Titanic. Let's examine the claim. Jack and Rose could have both floated on that board at the end of the Titanic. Evaluating this claim, we can determine that it is false. Now let's get into the science of it. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. If Jack and Rose both got onto that board, it simply would have sank. Or is it sunk? Sunken, perhaps? I don't know. Anyways, this is due to something called Archimedes' Principle. To put it simply, Archimedes' Principle states that the buoyant force exerted upon a body immersed in a fluid is equal to the weight of the fluid that the body displaces. Therefore, in order for Jack and Rose to both float on that board, their collective weight, along with the weight of the board itself, must be less than the weight of the water being displaced. Now let's be a little generous and assume the board is fully submerged. This will provide us with the maximum possible buoyant force. Based on Kate Winslet's height, we can approximate the board to be 2 meters by 1 meter in size, and let's assume the thickness of the board to be 0.15 meters. That's right kids, we're using the metric system. Time to get on board, America. See what I did there? On board? On? A board? Never mind, let's continue. We know from James Cameron himself that the board is made out of white oak, which has a density of 770 kilograms per meters cubed. The freezing ocean water has a density of 1,000 kilograms per meters cubed. And for the sake of using round numbers, let's say Rose weighs 550 newtons and Jack weighs 715 newtons. From the dimensions of the board, we can derive its volume. With this information, we can determine its weight. When throwing Jack and Rose into the mix, we get a total weight of about 3,500 newtons. Now we can calculate the buoyant force of the fully submerged board, and we immediately see that this is in fact less than the total weight of the board supporting both Jack and Rose. Bottom line, they sink. As a sanity check, let's crunch the numbers with just Rose on the board. If our calculations are correct and James Cameron got things right, then Rose should float. If we subtract Jack's weight from the previous calculation, we see that yes, Rose does in fact float without Jack weighing her down. Yes, science! This wraps up our very first installment of Pseudoscience. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and comment down below, and subscribe to this channel for more future content. And thank you for taking time out of your day for this moment of science. On today's episode, we're going to discuss the Titanic Dilemma. That's right. You know the ending of Titanic? The one that everyone talks about? That, you know, oh, oh, Jack and Rose could have shared the board together. Like, phew. yeah, we're still talking about it, and we're going to go over that. That's terrible.